Hello again, indie game fans. Welcome back to I Dream of Indie, or if it's your first time here on the channel, welcome. I am Old Gamer Joe here with another review for you today as we look at Strategy Tactical RPG Tears of Avia. This one comes from developer Cuckoo Squeaky Games and was published by P Cube Limited. It will be released as of October 15th of 2020 onto both Steam PC and the Xbox One platform. Tears of Avia takes place in the world of Estera, and I was surprised at the beginning of this game you actually will select between one of five different characters. They all do eventually party up with you, and it doesn't change a lot outside of a little bit of dialogue here or there, but it's a nice option at least. I personally chose Reyna the Ranger because I like archery and I like being able to strike enemies from a distance in tactical games, but there's also a pretty good variety of characters here, whichever one you want to be your main, including Iris the Mage, you also have Kai the Warrior, but you again get to play as each of these characters anyways in some form, so it's not a huge deal. The storyline of Tears of Avia doesn't really take any creative risks, and it's nothing that you haven't seen before in other tactical games like this. You have a war-torn world, and you're tasked with defending it. But whichever main character you select in this game, you find that you are chosen by the Tears, and these Tears are very important because they hold the key to the demonic world, which you can obviously then access and try to stop these demons once and for all, and hopefully save humanity. Pretty generic stuff here once again, but I suppose that the writing serves its purpose here, but it definitely doesn't stand out for any real reason. In, and again, feels a lot like other games in this genre, doesn't do anything new or creative in terms of storytelling. The way that you actually go ahead and meet all of your party members seems really anticlimactic and kind of comes out of nowhere. All of a sudden we're all just buddies because we overhear a story in a bar, but as far as gameplay goes, this is also a title that takes no creative risks whatsoever, it has everything that you would expect out of a strategy tactical RPG, and doesn't try anything new whatsoever. You have skill trees for abilities to learn for these characters, you have shops where you can purchase new items, and you have a grid based combat system that's very basic. And obviously, as you progress through the story, you'll unlock more and more of these battles. These battles are really slow paced, actually, and I don't know if it was just me, but I couldn't find a key on my controller anywhere or even on my keyboard that would fast forward these battles. So if you're dealing with a lot of enemies at once, you're forced to sit through some really slow animations, and you're going to see a lot of those over and over again. So these battles don't feel tactical in any real way because there's really no tactics to this game. You feel way too powerful out of the gate. I was able to take care of most enemies without even really needing to heal much until I got further into the game, so the first couple hours of Tears of Avia are a real slog. You can only have five members in your party at once in this title, but one thing I have to give the game credit for is having a good variety of skills for each character. It's fun to mix and mash and try different skills out and see what the animations are for them, even though as I'll get into those animations are a bit disappointing. That's really the strength of this game, I would say, the abilities that you can get for each character and watching them level up. But other games, many games in fact, have done it and done it quite a bit better. In terms of the graphics of this game, a really disappointing presentation here particularly coming from a publisher like P-Cube, who's known for publishing such quality product usually. This game really looks stuck in the past, the animations are stiff, the camera is really wonky in this game, there's some bad angles, you do control it with the right stick, and I just felt like the overall angle they chose is a little bit distracting and doesn't show you enough of the screen. I don't really care for the graphical presentation of this game in any real way. I would say the character portrait art looks decent at best, but the character design designs themselves, the 3D graphics are a real letdown in this one, the battlefields don't look interesting at all, and all of the monsters that you come across are super generic. Even the town where you can purchase new items and shop around a bit isn't fun at all to walk around or full of life, it feels really lifeless, and the world map itself, a very bland static image where you just kind of scroll through and pick the next level. So a super disappointing presentation here in terms of graphics, but I will say that the soundtrack here is quite stunning actually. It's a really great set of compositions. Yes, a little bit on the generic JRPG side of things, but I don't have a problem with that. Hey, JRPGs have some of my favorite music of all time, and these are some good compositions. I wouldn't say they were my favorite of all time or anything like that, don't take that out of context, but they're not bad pieces of music whatsoever. I found that they were motivating considering that the battles are so slow paced. You do have the original voice acting here, which I think sounds pretty cool in the context of the game, and I think that the sound effects aren't too bad either. Again, a little bit on the generic side and nothing that really stood out to me, but the soundtrack does carry the show here, despite the fact that the graphics are really disappointing in this title, and the sound effects simply get the job done. 
I went into Tears of Avia expecting a really good product, but unfortunately that's not really what I got. I think it's a ho-hum, standard, okay strategy tactical RPG. I think it could have been a lot better, I don't think they put enough personality and charm into the game really, and I think that the battles are just boring. It's a very bland, basic, safe game. It doesn't take any creative risks, and I know it's tempting to get a brand new shiny tactical RPG, but there's just honestly better options out there. Maybe wait for a sale if you really want to check this one out, but I don't recommend it at full price right now. So will you be checking out Tears of Avia? Let us know in the comments section below. And if you have enjoyed our video coverage today, consider hitting the subscribe button to help us bring a voice to the voiceless ones in gaming. There's a ton of other ways that you can support I Dream of Indie down in the description box below. That includes checking out our memberships or maybe even our merchandise store. However you end up supporting us, we thank you so very much.